We've been building the hype for weeks and it is finally here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darren Jacobs and welcome to Sudden Death Pay-Per-View where today we begin the road to insomnia. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, 30 men will be entering in the main event in a Royal Rumble matchup for the ages, the first of its kind. It's going to be truly a fantastic spectacle. But of course, we've got plenty more brilliant matches before all that. We've got plenty of championship matches for you. Tonight, kicking off the pre-show is the only non-championship match. And we are starting off with Stephen Thomas of the Wolfpack. Never did I think we'd be seeing a Wolfpack member in the pre-show. Now... Steve was not supposed to be out here tonight. As you guys may have seen, Steven is injured. He has several injuries and is still not, as you can see, at 100% peak condition. However, last week he took on Bruiser Brad as part of Bruiser Brad's warm-up match. Well, not last week. On the last episode, excuse me. Last episode he took on Bruiser Brad as part of preparations for the Royal Rumble match, which Bruiser Brad will be a part of. And um, he lost that match, Steve, despite landing three pedigrees. And he blamed Big Boss for the loss. Which is understandable because he was absolutely screwed out of that match by Big Boss. So he said, instead of resting tonight, instead of taking the back seat, I'm going to step in the ring and I'm going to do this myself. He wanted Big Boss and Big Boss was happy to oblige. So now one half of the Fight Night Tag Team Champions, the Wolfpack, Stephen Thomas. Coming out here to fight tonight and against this man. Big Boss who is ready to go and do the damage here tonight. It's been a while since I think we've seen him in the ring. It's been uh, a solid two or three weeks since he's been in in-ring action. But last week made a hell of a lot of noise. But the 600 pounder Big Boss. One tough opponent to go up against. Especially not at 100%. So I hope Steve knows what he's doing when he's made this decision to, to go after him. Big Boss is out here. And he looks laser focused on tonight's task. Of course, the Blood Brothers and the Wolfpack are continuously growing hatred towards each other. And look at this straight out the gate. Steve trying to take him down with a spear, but Big Boss just no sells it and just smashes him down onto the ground. And the Big, big Boss showing some early signs of strength here. But look at that, Steve does well to escape. And he's going to want to use his speed. And athleticism to his advantage here. Oh my god, no way. Super kick already. Super kick already. Well, maybe Steve is 100%. Because he's just come out with a super kick. And now ready with a pedigree. And in a matter of minutes, Stephen Thomas has just knocked out cold the 600 pounder. No, it's a two count. And I didn't think it would be that... Well, I did think it would be that easy because what a start. Where did that come from? He manages to escape Big Boss's hold. Then land a super kick and a straight into a pedigree. Well, it wasn't one pedigree that took out the last week. It took three. And now look at Steve. He's hyped up. The crowd are loving this. They can't believe what a start. If this is what signs of the pay-per-view to come is like... I cannot wait. This is going to be one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year, if not the biggest, behind Insomnia. And Steve is off to a flying start here. Dice bread. This is really, really strong signs early on from Stephen Thomas. But, of course, still feeling the effects of his injuries. And, therefore, Big Boss has something he can exploit. He can afford to attack. He knows what he's going to do. And Steve, despite his impressive start, Big Boss being smart here, going to slow this down to his tempo. He knows that Steve likes to keep it fast. Likes to have that fast-paced, high-flying offense. And, of course, he has a killer couple of moves as well as he's already experienced. So what he's got to do now is he's got to try and not let St Steve pick up the pace. He's got to try and slow this down. Oh, my God. No. Oh, I was going to say, Big Boss nearly from the top rope there. Wisely decided against that decision. Oh, and just crashing him into the turnbuckles. Of course, Steve with that injured torso. Causing him some problems here as he's taking some heavy hits from Big Boss. But still mounting more than enough offense to keep himself in control of this match. Irish whip. Oh, and a big shoulder tackle there by Big Boss. And Steve got off to a good start, but clearly he came in with just the strategy of just do that. 
and then call it a day. But Big Boss showed a bit more resiliency than I think Steve was anticipating. And now he's wisely targeting the midsection of Stephen Thomas. And there's a boss spear! That's going to do the damage. And now lining up for the boss kick to put Stephen away. Is this going to be enough to knock him out? There's the boss kick! His head ricochets off the top rope into the cover. Is that going to be enough for Big Boss to get the job done? Steve kicks it too. Boss kick and a spear. And still Steve fights on, even though not 100%. But how does he expect to be 100% if he keeps putting himself through this much pain? Steve's still fighting back though. Typical Wolfpack style, refusing to give in for anyone. Slice Ben again. And Steve Thomas, despite the early control, is now under the pressure from Big Boss. Well, if he fought, fa <coughs> if he fought facing near, four, near 500 pounder in Big Boss was difficult. Try taking on the Big Boss who's 600, but Steve bringing the fight right to him. Not willing to back down, he lands a second super kick. But look at that, Big Boss almost just shakes it off as if nothing even happened. Into the cover, his legs very close to the ropes. Didn't matter, Steve kicked out anyway. Big kick out by Steven Thomas. And now the boss trying to mount the offense again. What a start this has been to the pay-per-view. with truly fantastic singles match from two tag team competitors. Now Steve just trying to get him in a decent position here. Just tosses him out of the ring best he can. Big boss lands on his feet. Oh, but look at this. Steve comes flying in over the top rope. Suicide dive. Beautiful display of athleticism there from Steven. Well, Big Boss still fighting back, but Steven's showing that you can't give him an acre of space. He will fly. And someone needs to get a weight check on this guy. Is he eligible for the cruiserweight division? He'd be the world's tallest cruiserweight, that's for sure. Where the hell is Big Boss taking Steven right now? He's clearly got... It's taken him away. This is almost like Donkey Kong. Is it Donkey Kong? Yeah, I'm thinking of Donkey Kong. Or King Kong as well. That one too just carried him around before power slamming him down on the ramp and brings him back in for the count of seven and you can see the hostility growing and growing every single time these two teams step into the ring tonight it's only one-on-one -on -one and still they're not taking any prisoners boss brings him back to his feet and the crowd are loving this and this is only the pre-show what a match this has been and now big boss oh look at that was looking for a choke slam from the top steve found a counter and a double knees to take him down, very nicely done. And now Steve hyping up the crowd. He's under heavy fire now, but showing signs of life still in this match. After his amazing start, Big Close Eye still can't keep him down, but the Sling Blade does the job. Very nicely done by Steve. Now can he follow through? Can he roll up for a third time? Super kick to the jaw. Very nicely done there by Steve. Now just needs to find the pedigree and this might be over. Big kicks from Steve just to give him some separation. But it's tossed out of the ring by Big Boss. And the 600 pounder follows him out of the ring. And he's just gone over the top rope. And of course if you do that again, if he does that in the main event, not that he's in it unfortunately. But if he was to do that, that would be the end of his day. It's going to be a huge card. Almost all the championships on the line. Did you see that drop kick? Drop kicks him onto the LED board. And these two, it may be the pre-show, but these two are not giving in for a second. Two men with clear hatred towards each other. And the big boss brings him back in at seven again. He's taking full advantage of the outside uh, use. And playing to the crowd now. The B Blood Brothers not exactly fan favourites. But you can't argue with their results. What's he lining up for now? Boss kick! Boss kick, but he's not done. He's not done. Oh, but Steve's still fighting back. Steve not going to let him do it again. DDT but on the big boss. And Steve now playing to the crowd. And I thought the boss kick had ended it there. Big boss decided against going for the cover. He tried his luck and went for it again. But Steve was able to read that and predict it. And now Steve now might be able to steal this one from Big Boss. No. Couldn't connect with the pedigree. And now caught with the leg. And rolls through to the, a knee bar. Uh, an arm bar. Uh, 
A Boston Crab single leg. And that could be the end of Steve now. Misses the pedigree and now might pay the ultimate price. Boss kick. Good night, Stephen Thomas. Big Boss picks up a huge victory here tonight. No! What? A match we are seeing here. A match that looked like it was going to end in minutes. Now looks like these two are never going to stop fighting. What an incredible contest. And Stephen refusing to back down here. Has the big boss hanging over the top rope. Couldn't keep him down on the middle one. Now what's Steve doing here? Oh, and a massive knee lift. On the outside of the ring. And the crowd are abs going absolutely nuts for this amazing contest. Rolls him through for a fourth time. Super kick. Super kick. And Steve hypes up the crowd. He's sensing the end is near. And so am I. Surely, if he can connect with this pedigree, it's all over. Hooks the arms. Pedigree. Pedigree by Stephen Thomas. And he picks up a huge win here in tonight's pre-show. What a match that was. And you know what? After watching that one, that wouldn't surprise me if that's one of the best matches of the night. What a huge victory. Both men gave it their all. Neither one of them held back for a second. And clearly Steve was after revenge here tonight. And he managed to get it. There is the winning pedigree that gets the job done. But what a huge win for Steven Thomas here tonight in the pre-show. And the crowd go nuts. Well, of course, the Wolfpack all in action tonight. Alex Wilson will be facing for the WIW. W Heavyweight Championship against Max Danger. And David will be in the Royal Rumble. But Steve might have just pulled off one of the biggest victories of the night. It all the most impressive victories of the night. And we've only just begun here tonight at Sudden Death Pay-Per-View. What a match to kick off the pre-show. But it is time for the pre-show's main event. What a match from Stephen Thomas. Main event then. Of the pre-show, and they have given us a good one. It is the Mayhem Women's Championship on the line in a fatal four-way match. Which is only going to be traditional fatal four-way rules, but of course one fall to the finish. The first woman down to the ring, the former manager of the Starboy, El Estrella Chico. It is Adrian Reyes, who's had a little bit more success than Chico as of late, competing in and around the Women's Championship division. Of course, she was at Crash Course in a triple threat match where the title changed hands for the first time and that tonight she challenges the current champion Halle Bowen off the teaming with Lulu Torres against the champ and Sandra Piper and that's how she got into this match and deservedly so as well she's had a great couple of weeks and now she gets the chance to cash in but of course the person that she teamed with also made a little bit of a statement on the last episode of the Monday Night Mayhem by coming out to watch the champion and look at this some very nice gear here tonight here from Lulu Torres, who has been in and around the title picture pretty much since she debuted, of course, picking up the most eliminations in the first ever Women's Battle Royal for the Mayhem Women's Championship. And she picked up, I believe, three eliminations on that night. She then went on to face Sandra Piper at the following pay-per-view for the Women's Championship, and Sandra Piper was able to retain one of Sandra Piper's longest and uh, well-battled rivals, and now tonight she competes once again for the Mayhem Women's Championship. But the question is, can she finally get her hands on it? Can she finally become the Mayhem Women's Champion? She's been fighting long and hard to get here. But tonight, no friendships, no allies. Tonight she has to get the job done inside the squared circle. Worst analogy in the world, but I hear people use that all the time. Anyway, next up, the former... The longest reigning, the most dominant Mayhem Women's Champion to date. Sandra Piper, who has been in phenomenal form all up until Crash Course. And that's when things took the turn for the worst for this woman, Sandra Piper. But I will tell you what, she's still probably one of the most feared women in WIW. And I would not want to step into a ring with this woman. She's tough, she's strong, she's powerful. 
She has a clear height advantage with every match that she encounters. And tonight, she gets the job. Can she get the job done? Can she make history and become a two-time Mayhem Women's Champion with a win here tonight? A lot on the line for this woman. But the question is, can she get the job done when the title is back on the line? But of course, she's got to take it back from the woman that she took it from. She's got a tough task here tonight in her first title defense. It is the Mayhem Women's Champion, Haley Bowen. And tonight, of course, she's got a tough task because it's a fatal four-way match, which means this match could end in her losing the title, but not end with her as part of the decision. Big Willie found that out the hard way, and the triple threat, fatal four-way is even worse because now you've got to watch your back with three different women. And Bowen making it clear that she is here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's to retain the Mayhem Women's Championship. This is her first title defense, but she's got four very hungry challengers ready to take that title away from her if she slips up here tonight. Well, after an amazing start to this pre-show, the main event's going to be up there as well. It is for the Mayhem Women's Championship. And of course, later on tonight, we'll be finding out which woman will be facing at Insomnia for the Mayhem Women's Championship. Or for the Fight Night Women's Championship, depending on who they cash in on in the Women's Battle Royal. But tonight's main event of the pre-show is for the Mayhem Women's Championship. Let's get this one on the way. Look at this, Sandra Piper goes straight for Reyes. And did you see that lovely little spine buster from Lulu Torres on the champion? A lot of red themed coming out here tonight, of course. It's been episode 99. Next episode is episode 100. So if you still want to get in to the show, if you want to be in the Road to Glory Season 2, both men and women, you have to get your applications in before episode 100 is uploaded and trust me if this one's out that means you've probably still got a little bit of time but be sure to get them in before episode 100 does come out and i can't believe that we've actually reached 100 episodes of w-i-w it's crazy the channel has grown so much the network is growing and you guys are getting more and more involved and it's absolutely amazing to see hold in a minute look at this Ray is not wasting any time here. She's essentially she's struggling in this matchup with Sandra Piper and brings in the weapon. Of course, this is traditional fatal four-way, so no count outs or disqualifications apply. And Ray is, is dealt with by Piper for the moment. And now Piper going back to her former ne nemesis in uh, in in Lulu Torres. But uh looks like Bowen deals with her, and now we've got the two champions in the history. We have the current champion and the former champion squaring it off in the ring. Piper has her and just tosses her across the ring. Piper in the, uh, in the week lost to Bowen despite the distractions by uh, Lulu Torres. And now Adrian Reyes is going to try and take advantage. Very nicely done there, but Piper is still taken out. And now Lulu Torres back to her feet. And it looks like Reyes is going to go for Torres. And these two are going to bow on the outside. And Sandra Piper, she really has struggled as of late to do the damage to Halle Bowen, she's proven to be one of the toughest opponents she's ever faced. But right now trying to deal with her. Meanwhile, in the ring, Lulu Torres looking to fly here. And it's quite a jump that she's attempting to make. Is she going to be able to make it, especially with Sandra Piper in the way? Oh, no, she drop kicks Piper. Piper doesn't fall, but she drop kicks Piper and drops Bowen as well in the process. And now everybody in the ring, and now the strike's coming in. Between Bowen and Piper. Oh, what a big drop kick there. And out rolls Sandra Piper. Meanwhile, in the corner, the fists flying in by Adrian Reyes here. In the corner on Lulu Torres. Trying to deal with her and take her out of the ring. And she does. Out she rolls. Now Reyes and Bowen can fight it out in the ring. Remember, this is no low stakes. This is for the Mayhem Women's Championship. And a kick out of one there by Adrian Reyes. And now look who's behind her. She hasn't seen. Oh, there she got her. Oh, she got her. Tilt a wall slam. And everybody else is down. No one's going to break it up. Oh, she does. And Sandra Piper almost got the title back with the tilt a wall slam. But it's saved by Sandra. No, San saved by Adrian Reyes. The champion keeps her title for another day. Meanwhile, look on the other side. Looking for a straight jacket powerbomb. Lulu Torres got her. 
Straight jacket power bomb and into the cover. Lulu Torres might become champion here tonight. Can't break it up. No! Didn't matter. Didn't matter. She's able to kick out on her own accord and she ne nearly had no help there. Piper missed twice the attempt to break it up. And now Piper going for the ending here. Reyes is down and so is Halle Bowen. There it is! Tilt the world slam again. Oh, but wait a minute, Bowen rushes back to her feet. That was really quick there for the Mayhem Women's Champion. And she cleans house and gets rid of her. Oh, but now from behind, look at this. Reyes now trying to take advantage. Everybody's down except for Reyes. Reyes now going to try and score the cover here on the Mayhem Women's Champion. Lulu Torres back to her feet in time to break it up. And now the battles continue once again. Piper and Bowen collide in the ring. She's going to try and get the cover and get her revenge. It's only a one count. And a big knee there by Sandra Piper. And now look at this from behind. Oh, I see a roll up. I see a roll up. And so did Piper. And Reyes prevents it. And now Bowen has an opening to attack here on Sandra Piper. And just tosses her across the ring as if nothing happened. Bicycle kick. I just saw the bicycle kick from behind. And now look at this. What's Bowen doing here? Oh, and a beautiful piece of athleticism from Halle Bowen. Meanwhile, on the outside, Reyes looking for some more weaponry. She's found a table. But look at Torres. She's in trouble as well. Bowen was thinking electric chair driver, but intercepted by Reyes. And now Bowen trying to deal with Reyes. Oh, but now look at this. Sandra Piper grabbing Lulu Torres. Just tossing her across the ring. She's going to go for the cover now here on Lulu Torres. Two count. Reyes, did you see that? Moving really slowly here. Struggling to get over and just break up the, the attempted count. And now Piper and Torres colliding again. Meanwhile, Reyes ready to put away Halle Bowen here. Looking for the pump handle. Suplex. Pump handle suplex. And into the cover. Torres has gone outside. She didn't see it. No. That was our best chance. We almost just crowned a new Mayhem Women's Champion. And she couldn't do it. She couldn't get it done. But now Bowen. Now Bowen's going to try. Looking for the electric chair driver. Got her. Electric chair driver. And Torres on the outside. I don't think she's going to be able to get back in in time. Retaining champion. Bowen retains. And she laughs at Lulu Torres. Who couldn't get back in in time. Reyes goes down and Bowen retains the Mayhem Women's Championship. Well, I thought she had her there and I thought we crowned a new champion from the pump handle slam. But then straight out the pump handle slam was the electric chair driver. And once again, Bowen has done it. She wins the match. She wins the multi-man match and retains for the first time. The Mayhem Women's Championship. Well, that's put this woman in a fantastic position. Because realistically now, she has granted herself a ticket to Insomnia. Almost. There's almost there's one pay-per-view before that. And I can't imagine that any of these women are going to be too happy with the loss here tonight. But a huge win and a huge retaining to end tonight's pre-show. I hope you guys enjoyed, because I know I did. Be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts and feelings on tonight's show, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will catch you guys on the Sudden Death pay-per-view. Peace!